everyone! In today's video I decided to film something a bit different to what I'd normally do which is this green glitter half cut crease. If you'd like to see how I got this look then please keep watching. So today I've already filled in my brows and put on my eyeshadow base using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as my base and I'm going to go straight in to do my eyeshadow. The first two colours I'm going to take on a fluffy blending brush is these two here from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just putting them in my crease and I'm using backwards and forwards motions. Next I'm going in with this more precise brush and I'm taking this orange colour here and I'm going with that lower down in my crease using backwards and forwards motions. I'm also putting this colour on the outer third of my eyelid and I'm just pressing that down. Then using the same brush, I'm going in with this brown here. I'm just taking a tiny, tiny bit of this brown. It's better to start off with less because you can always build it up. I'm just taking the brush that we started with to use the first two shades and using circular motions to make sure that's all nicely blended together. I'm now going to cut the crease using a really flat brush and some concealer. I'm now going to go in with my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette for my glitter and I'm taking this green one here called Lightyear. I'm just packing that all on the lid where I've just done my cut crease. Just before I get to the end, I'm going to take some of this purple glitter here on the other side of this flat brush I'm using and just pack that on the edge. Then on a flat brush, I'm going back in with this brown shade just to pack on the outer corner of my eye. Then from the same palette, I'm just going to take this gold colour here to put on the inner corners of my eyes. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to put this light pink colour here in the corners of my eyes. I'm now just lining my lids so when we put false lashes on the band can blend in. On top of that liner I'm just taking some black eyeshadow on this really precise brush and pressing it on just to make the eyeliner darker and matte. I'm 
I'm now going to start my face and the foundation I'm going in with today is my Kat Von D Locket foundation. I'm just buffing that into my face using my beauty blender. I'm now using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to conceal under my eyes. And I'm blending that concealer in with my Beauty Blender. To set under my eyes, I'm using my NARS Velvet Loose Powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and just pressing that in using a big fluffy brush. I'm now going to finish my eyes and I'm going in with this orange colour here and we're going to smoke that out along my lower lash line. Then taking the same brush that I used for my black eyeshadow, I'm going in with this brown colour again here and just really closely running that along my lower lash line. I've just popped on some false lashes off camera and now I'm just applying some mascara to blend my false eyelashes with my real eyelashes. And I'm also putting some mascara on my lower lashes. Now that I've finished my eyes, I'm moving on to bronzer and today I'm using my Milk Chocolate Bronzer from Too Faced. I'm next highlighting my face with my Becca highlighter in the shade Moonstone. Just taking that on my cheekbones, on my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'm now just going to line my lips with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pencil in the shade Pillow Talk. I'm now going in with this nude lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is my finished makeup look. The eyes are really fun to create and I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.